This is a painting by Paul Cezanne. It's a landscape and depicts Mont Saint Victoire, which is a mountain located near his home in Aix-en-Provence in the south of France. Cezanne is an artist who spent most of his career in the south of France depicting not only landscapes, but still lives and figure paintings, and is considered one of the great masters of the late 19th and early 20th centuries. This is one of my favorite paintings in the BMA's collection. When I arrived here almost 15 years ago, I just fell in love with this painting. And interestingly, when I arrived, it had a, a varnish on it that had yellowed over time. And it had been on it for probably 50 years, if not longer. And so it was not quite as sparkling and sunny as you see today. It had a little sort of glaze of yellow to it. And our wonderful paintings conservator and I decided it would be a really good idea to take it off and, and see what happened. Luckily, it all worked out beautifully and the painting came alive. The sun came out and in fact, a couple of little touches of paint that we had never noticed before, a little raspberry color came up and it really made the picture just so much more beautiful. And now it looks much closer to how it looked when Cezanne painted it. Mont Saint Victoire was a motif that Cezanne loved to paint. He painted it dozens of times over the course of his lifetime. Uh, in this particular picture, he's chosen to paint it from the far side of a quarry in town. And so that beautiful orangey ochre color, those are the actual local stones at this quarry. So if you go to X, you'll see this beautiful orangey ochre color throughout the town. And Cezanne has played a little bit with distance. In fact, the quarry was quite far away from the mountain, but he chose to compress space to, and to make the mountain seem much more prominent, much more domineering and over the landscape to producing this fantastically wonderful composition. Cezanne was very well known for painting these little patches of paint that give his paintings a sort of sense of volume and form that was quite unique to his style. And you can see some wonderful examples here where the forms of the rocks in particular I start take on a little bit of a, of a dimension that's different than just flat paint on the canvas. To me, the painting seems to sort of vibrate with color and excitement, and, and it's a picture I could look at forever. Cezanne spent most of his career in the south of France, and his work wasn't very well known. If you were an artist or a collector in Paris wanting to see his works, it was quite difficult. He wasn't in museums like he is today. He, there was a dealer that would occasionally have shows, but his work was known to some, but not a huge name at that point. When he died in 1906, the French government decided to have a big exhibition of his work to honor his memory, as they often did for their painters. And this exhibition was held in Paris, and for the first time, artists and collectors and the general public could see many works by Cezanne in one place. And this exhibition really changed uh, the careers of many artists. People like Henri Matisse and Pablo Picasso could see many examples by Cezanne and their careers were changed by that. Uh, other American artists living in Paris at the time, like Marsden Hartley, had the same experience. And our painting was actually in that exhibition. So those artists saw our painting, uh, the BMA's wonderful view of Mont Saint-Victoire, and having it here is a real, a real treasure and a real pleasure uh, to be able to work with this painting every day.